Hey, welcome back, explorers. Today I'm pretty excited. Well, usually I'm always excited filming these abandoned places, but today I'm really excited. Um, right now I'm at a, an abandoned island in the middle of the lake. It's quite a few kilometers off of shore. Well, the island's not technically abandoned. A developer owns it, but all the structures on this island are abandoned. It's an incredible history here. They opened up uh, like a summer resort they built a, like a hotel here and some cabins and cottages, pavilions, all kinds of stuff. And then in 1905, they closed it down. And in 1922, the Roman Catholics showed up here and they leased this whole island for $300 for the summer. And the agreement was if they enjoyed it and they liked the, the island, they were allowed to buy it after the lease was up at the end of the summer. So the Roman Catholics, they absolutely loved it. They stayed here all summer long and in the hotel, in the resort, all the cottages, everything was fully furnished still. Everything was left behind um, since 1905. And uh, so they purchased the whole island for $4,000 back in 1922. And they wanted to make it like a Catholic retreat where they go up and they spend time and stay up here and do prayers and stuff like that. And in 2002, a really popular guy shows up here. Pope John II stayed here for quite a few days and just to just to relax, to chill out, have a campfire. Uh, they cooked him. They had a, he had a private chef that came up here and cooked him some dinners and meals. Um, but he, yeah, he stayed up here, and it was a big deal in the area. There was uh, the news crews were out, police boats were out telling people to get away from the island. So boats that came into this area could only go in so far to take a look. A lot of them brought binoculars and they wanted to see Pope John Paul. Um, but we're here today, I'm so excited. As you can see behind me here, this is the massive hotel that just was so badly decayed, it just totally fell down. I'm it's kind of disappointed because on uh, Google Earth, I, uh, it shows that it's just, this is intact, but the roof is uh, very bad shape. But all behind me, there's a church, the chapel over here. So there's another building here. There's a bunch of cottages. There's a lot of outbuildings here. We're gonna check out everything. Can't wait. I brought my fooler here. Beautiful ride out here. It's a beautiful su sunny day. The ice is still good. You can only get to these island obviously by boat, walking, or um, ATV. Um, in the winter time, you could walk and use your ATV or snowmobile, um, but it's, it's quite the distance. So I think we should get going, guys. I hope you're ready to go. This is going to be a good one. Let's uh, explore Pope John Paul's resort here. Let's go. Those birds in the background are called Canada geese. There's no shortage of them around here. I was told that there's some bald eagles on this island and some raccoons made it out here. Um, but yeah, you can see the snowmobile tracks and there's some ATV tracks. So locals do pop in here. Um, I'm assuming that this place is probably vandalized, being so secluded and no one's around to uh, take care of it. But I'm definitely not the first one here. Oh, look at this. Look at the uh, the beavers. The beavers uh, chewed up all these small little trees here. So we're going to start on one side of the island, work our way to each building here.
not sure how I'm going to get to this one. I'm going to go through here. Oh wow. I took the hard way in here. giant opening right here. I just took the long way. So I gotta watch play nails around here. This must have been the shop. There's all kinds of junk in here. This looks like a boathouse to me. You can see the garage door. So this is by the boathouse. Definitely pretty trashed in here. After 85 years, the number of people visiting declined. The fathers decided to sell the beautiful island in 2007. The island has been abandoned for over 16 years. Some structures are in good shape and some have completely collapsed. So that's, I, got, I think there's about six buildings here that I could count. The beavers sure have done some damage here. They could be pesky animals, especially when you have an island and beautiful trees. We got footprints. Those look like raccoons to me. Oh, look at the woodwork in here. Oh, there's beds in here still. Oh, I can see the floors are pretty rotten. Look at the dresser. Completely rotten. Cottage number one. Oh man, this is amazing. Well, this is not the cottage. This is the hotel part. The Pope, when the Pope stayed here, the Pope stayed in one of the, the cottages. I didn't say which one for security reasons, but. Oh, look at that pillow. The mold on that pillow is just crazy. This is incredible. Everything is frozen in time. Like really all you needed to do is just bring your blankets. Whoa, look at that, it almost went down. Yeah, this one's in rough shape.
The electrical has definitely been upgraded. Those are breakers, not fuses. All original, this building though. Look at the doorknob. Completely original. Oh, look at this. This is the bathroom. And look at that. Wow. The sink and the toilet are just floating. Look, there's actually water in the toilet. The sink, the, the hot water tank, and the shower is just floating there. The floor is completely collapsed. another washroom the shower building the shower room you can see on top of all these doors it's all screened it's all screened in for ventilation the roof is very Badly damaged. I'm not too sure what this is. But there's a bunch of chairs all there. Maybe there used to be a pool here. That's what it looks like. Maybe they had like an above ground pool here at some point. The 25 acre island was listed for $5.5 million in 2016. And an 80 condo project was proposed. The developer withdrew the plan, then relisted the island in 2020 for $3 million. The future of this island and all the structures are unknown. Yeah, these buildings are in rough shape. I wish I got here sooner, but... Oh, wow. Look at this one. Beautiful spot. Oh, wow. Look at the fireplace in here. It's incredible. And the old piano. Wow. It actually looks smaller than normal. I'll go take a look. Oh, this is just amazing in here. Look at this all. Looks, there's all playing cards. You know what, like this would have been so cozy just to sit in here. Playing some cards, having some drinks, having a campfire here, and then enjoying the view. Yeah, it looks like it's been vandalized in here. This must be the wood box. Oh, we got a book here. Airport. This doors are opening. Let's take a look at the date here. 2002.
yeah, I'm, I'm assuming that uh, people probably came here and partied. Showers. Still a bar of soap sitting there. It's too bad that building collapsed. shape you could actually still sleep in here if you wanted to a lot different than the other the other hotel building so I guess there's two buildings here Ooh. this one has number three on it number four Oh yeah, okay, that's why. I was wondering why this part sealed off. They just made this room bigger. Maybe this is the honeymoon suite. Original doors again in this building. This building here looks like it could be saved. This one. up Definitely creepy in here. All right, let's keep going here.
Oh wow, this thing is just massive and it's all collapsed here. Wow. Oh wow, this is so nice in here. Another huge fireplace. Wow. I can only go so far on this one. Yeah, look at that. This whole thing just totally collapsed. The floor is all collapsed too. More newspapers. 2002. Oh, jeez. I just hit my head on that. Oh yeah, nice light. Yeah, we couldn't go in that one too much. Completely collapsed. We can go up here and take a look. Oh, wow. Look at that. Bed's all in there. This has been rotting away for a long time. All right, well, let's get out of here. It's not very safe at all. You hear the snowmobiles out here. There's a bunch of people that showed up on the island here. I guess it's a local hotspot. So this is a cottage here. I'm gonna check this one out. Oh wow, we got another piano. This one's pretty, uh, pretty vandalized here, this one. It's a beautiful cottage, this one. Nice, beautiful view. 
of the lake. Oh, look at that bee's nest up there. Crazy. We made a crispy chicken wrap. Pretty good. Here's a nice building here. This used to be called the Forster Building. The Vatican flag used to be uh, right on the top there. But it's uh, not there anymore. Well, here's some docks here. Is this the Bible? No. Oh, wow. Oh, this is so neat. Post office. This is amazing. Watch the nails in here. Cool. We got a family that's just showed up in their on their snowmobiles. They took their kids out to come check this place out. So a lot of people do come here. Two thousand four. Look at all the books here, all rotten. What do we got here? This has seen better days, this place. This looks like an old piano too. Look at this place. Love these doors. So tall.
Ooh, look at that. Uh, you know what? I'm not going to go any further. We were just about to break. You can see the treads. I'm going to fall down. Look at this. On top of this door here, we've got uh, stained glass. Here's the chapel. The, little, the family just came in here. You see all the footprints. I don't know what's left in here. Oh wow. <laughs> this is amazing. I think this is my favorite building so far. Wow. There's a projector. And this is church pew. Look at the ceiling here. Wow. Amazing. So cool. There's actually a shrine here. I was just told that it's still here. I knew about it. But the guy told me that uh, it is in the forest. I'm gonna go check that out. The floor's all collapsed here. Got some washrooms. The snow is so thick here. I almost got my machine stuck. I tried to drive up in here. The snow is like three feet deep. So I completely sunk. So I'm just gonna leave my bike there. Well, the snow is so deep here. I couldn't get my machine back here. Snowmobiles can come back here, no problem, but my ATV, I was just sinking. And look, you could see here. There used to be a tennis court over here. I don't know if you can see the the old fence sitting there. Completely grown over. There used to be a tennis court. 
I just found a little building here. I'm assuming it's probably the pump house. Maybe for all the well water. Or the lake water. They probably use the lake water. Take a look here. Oh, man. I always take the long way. There we go. Oh wow. Not what I expected. This is like the tool shed. Oh, neat. But I did think I think the water system did come in here. I seen some hoses. Look the guy's got his old bib hanging up here. Screws and tools. Oh, look at this. It's for napkins. A whole bunch of them. And look, a whole bunch of ashtrays. All right, we just made we just made it to the shrine. Look at this thing behind me. Isn't that incredible? It's probably made out of stones that were found on this island. Let's go take a closer look. Hey, I hope you enjoyed that one, guys. Oh, man, I'm just sweating. There's so much snow here still. I'm walking through like three feet of snow. So I'm a little exhausted. I had to walk to that shrine. That shrine was at the other end of the island. But I really hope you enjoyed this one. There's so much history here. So glad I found this spot. And I'm so glad I came here because um, developers bought this island and they have no plans of saving any of these buildings. They're gonna demolish them all and um, probably build condos or cottages. I heard that they might build cottages here and each cottage has their own dock. It would be a really nice place, but you can only access this place in the winter time when, it's, uh, when the lake's frozen and by boat. So I know a lot of residents don't agree with the development, um, but eventually something will get built here. I just don't know what. But I hope you enjoyed the video. Definitely see you guys in the next Explore. See you next time.